Hey guys, what's up? It's Ron from Five Day Fish Facts. Just kind of testing out this live thing. And we've got Ashley Hi. from Five Day Fish Facts. And we've got Ben and Amelia from Five Day Fish Facts. I'm gonna flip this up here because I can't see. Oh, that's locked. So how do I see if there's a chat? There you go. Hey Dexter, how's it going, man? <laughs> <laughs> we are, let me get down. I just picked this guy up. <coughs> you can see him. It's a Colombian zebra pleco, the L129. We picked up some other stuff too today. And we're gonna release him into the tank. Here, Ash, you wanna hold? Whoop. Thanks, man. There was a blue phantom pleco too that I really wanted, but it was $65, so I didn't get it. This one wasn't, this one was pretty expensive too. 20, 21 bucks. Okay, let's, so what I've done, I've done my normal uh, sort of drip method that I do, and uh, I'm all ready to get this guy in the tank. Let's see here. I am new to the chat thing. We're still learning. Oh, well, let's see I'm trying to see if there's people on here. But... Hey, how's it going? Welcome to my first ever live attempt as we're putting this uh, pleco in, we ask that show one more time here before we throw him in. Mm. There he is. I don't think it's working. I don't think it's working. Did it work? Okay. Sorry guys, we're still learning. Okay, Ash, let's get him in. Ben, you wanna have a look here? Got a couple more rainbow fish today too. We filmed an unboxing for that too. And we got... How big can they grow, Ron? Dexter's asking how big can they grow. This one gets six or seven inches. Let's catch them. I don't want to drop all this water in the tank because half of it, well, two thirds of it is the tank water, but a third of it is I'm not switch gonna nets. We're doing. Say hi, Ben. Hi. Ben helped pick out the pleco. He's already been acclimatized to the temperature. There he goes. He's gonna go right for the wood. You see him? Where'd he go? <laughs> he went around back. Oh. I'll leave him in a couple months. <laughs> There's the two new Siamese algae. Hi, Joe. Can you see him, babe? We can run around the back. We also have babies. Yeah, we got some fry in there, some molly fry. They're about a week old. They might be platties. They might be platties. We think that they're mollies. Well, we could show off what else is new in this tank. Are you catching fry, Ron? Uh, yeah, we did. Ashley caught some. I caught some. Mom caught one. Mom caught one. Yeah, well, I was trying to give mom more credit. They were um, they were living in the Java moss. Which Ashley's just cleaned up tonight. This tank was going crazy with plants. You can see the light, but they were hiding in here. The little baby fry were hiding in here. We scooped them up and put them in the put them in the little breeder box. So we have five. The kids are excited that they're growing. 
That's what I'm gonna do. Rainbows. Let's go. That's about all we have that's new right now. Yeah. There's a Petra Cola's back there. <laughs> but we'll find any new species in there. <laughs> <laughs> There's Bozo, our big clown loach. Down in the back. Our clown loaches are happy. Oh, it's on the back of the that driftwood. Oh, there. No, that's the yo-yo. That's the yo-yo. Let's see our algae. Okay. Well. Thanks, guys. Thanks for watching. Oh, babe. Uh, Dexter's asking, will a puffer fish survive in our tank? No. <laughs> we ha we may get a puffer fish. Ashley wants one, but we'll have to get a separate tank for it. Because there's a lot of different kind of puffer fish. There's saltwater, brackish, and freshwater. But a freshwater one will kill the other fish in here. The smaller ones. So, they're pretty aggressive. But you can Those big ones, they're like, I don't know if you're familiar with Corey's from Aquarium Co-op. He's got guppies and stuff with it, but it's so big and well fed that it's fine. But if I got one of those small pea puffers in here, that, that wouldn't go well. Someone else asked how big the tank is. 90 gallons. It's the biggest of our three tanks. The upstairs we have a 29 gallon, that's a Neon Tetra slash Cherry Barb tank. With a few pandacories at the bottom. And we have a custom made sheet metal stand. Sheet metal stand that my dad made. <laughs> it would be cool to see a puffer. You also got a, a compliment on the wine rack. Oh, thank you. <laughs> got all the dates of when they're supposed to be drank by. <laughs> it's another one of our hobbies. <laughs> if you're from, if you're if you're a wine lover. BC's got some of the best wine in the world. Not so well known yet, but well, it's getting great. more from the Okanagan. Oh. And we also have our third tank is a Ben's tank, which is a Tiger Barb only tank. But I think uh, I think that's it. We'll uh, keep hunting for this new pleco that we just bought <laughs> and vanished immediately. Hey, they're sticky. Oh, good. That's just a regular bris female oh. bristle nose. Oh, it's hard to see. Have to scrub the algae off our tank. Do you collect the wine, Ron? So uh, yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> back to wine. <laughs> um, some of them, my favorite ones, I collect year by year and buy them every year. Um, and then hang on to them and they're good. Like this one's, some are good to like 2025. 20, some are drink nows. Some of these Bordeaux, some of these Bordeaux are kind of <coughs> hit and miss. You never really know. We like to combine our hobbies and drink wine while watching the fish tank. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Well, thanks for thanks for everyone for watching. Appreciate that. It was our first attempt at a live stream. It wasn't organized. We just said, "Hey, let's go live," but we throw this on and kind of fiddle <laughs> around. And uh, we're good for rice rice wine. But thank you for the <laughs> offer. Thanks for the offer. Though. We cook with it. Yeah, we can. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay. Well. We're going to let the kids watch some TV, so we're going to say see you later. See you later. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for joining us.